Hey folks, you might have heard about the YouTubers who build clones like Netflix clone, Twitter clone, Instagram clone. But how about a big company who is building a clone of Twitter? Yes, Meta is exactly doing that. Meta is building a Twitter clone and is trying to compete into this ecosystem of social media a little bit more. If you think the JS framework war or the database war is already ugly, Welcome to the social media war where everybody wants to dip their toe and want to just grab some piece of the cake so that they can also be called as the next big social media. So there are a couple of contenders from India as well like Koo which is also trying to compete with Twitter and wherever Twitter gets banned and they actually step forward in that. In the exact same race, I would like to make this video as a reaction of the first look and I'll be reading along with you that what is the situation of Meta trying to compete with the Twitter. So is this a reaction channel now? <laughs> no, not really. But sometimes the news are so funny and so much in so much of the tension that I really want to have this attention with, along with you and just let's see around this. So this is actually an article by the TechCrunch, uh, just came out, uh, very fresh, not that much fresh, but yeah, almost very fresh. Uh, everything we know about Twitter's Instagram clone due this summer. So yes, it's official that Instagram or Meta is building a Twitter clone. Uh, why I decided to make this video because I read a line and I was like, I'm not going to be reading it further any down. I'll just record the entire thing along with you so that you can also get this update. So here's the line that I read. While the future remains uncertain for Twitter, Meta is throwing its hat into the ring to build the next major micro blogging platform. The new Meta app is expected to launch this summer. So it's already summer. So I think it's very near. According to an email shared with a selected group of creators and viewed by TechCrunch and viewed by TechCrunch. So TechCrunch guys are not just throwing any of these articles like this. They've actually read the email where they are actually discussing about probably the manifesto of this app that how this app is going to look like. Oh man, this is exciting time. Twitter is going all the way in with the blue tick selling. Meta is also going all the way in. Some of my friends have received uh, the, the buying of the blue tick on the Meta as well. So it's a new currency these days. Everybody can buy the blue ticks. So TextBake app will stand alone, but it will be partially integrated within Instagram. So will I get an Instagram login from Instagram kind of a button or not? Uh, users will keep their Instagram verification and handle and all of their followers will receive notification to follow them on to be named on the platform. <laughs> That's nice to be named on the platform. <laughs> the name is not decided yet. Uh, Meta's text-based platform will be decentralized and interoperable with uh, Mastodon. That is nice. These are really good keywords here, decentralized, interoperable. That's coming from a meta, oh goodness, oh goodness, which is built on activity pub protocols. So again, a new hype word, probably we need a more tutorial on that. We have seen the pub sub, but this is now activity pub. Yeah, man, we need to learn a lot more. Meta wants to onboard high profile public figures to get early access like athletes, actor, of course, the same strategy with Twitter followed earlier. I really remember this, that they went out to all the big shot celebrities like Amitabh Bachchan and all of these high profile celebrities in India. They actually discussed and gave them the account and somebody who can manage their account as well, a lot of things. So initially Twitter did all of this. Uh, it's a note to these creators, Meta conducted uh, Mastodon, Blue Sky and other apps have a head, a race, a head start in the race to build the Twitter next Twitter. But the company pointed out that it has advantage of access to billions of users through its family of apps. Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger. I guess this is whole the majority of, you like it or not, this is how the day revolves like uh, with a lot of WhatsApp, with a lot of Instagram, with a lot of Twitter. This is how the day revolves. If they can just buy, could have bought YouTube, they just are gonna be uh, killing it all together. So what actually interested me here is this keyword. This is new decentralized app and code name as Barcelona or P92. So this is really nice. First reported by Money Control. Meta has been quiet about these development, but said in a statement to Money Control, we're exploring a stand standalone decentralized social network for sharing text update. So I think the move of renaming the company Meta is not looking great because there is nothing happening in the metaverse. It's not an exciting world uh, as of now. The real world is much more exciting than the meta world. So again, they have to try out different opportunities. I'm not sure that they're going to be replacing their name with instead of Meta to Decentral, something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's I think, is a good thing here. 
Uh, the app will be using the community guidelines on Instagram. Similarly, users will be able to log in with Instagram credentials, block hidden words. So everything from Instagram actually carries on. Uh, so there is a Hubberman's source also confirmed that the text post will be 500 characters. So 300 characters, 500 characters. We're playing around with this. And users can upload photos, links, and videos up to five minutes long. So how is it different than Instagram? If I can upload five minutes of videos, like how is it different? Just give me ability to write post on Instagram itself and that's done. Why to create a new app for this one? But anyways, your developers, you pay them salary. You decide what to build. Uh, Meta declined TechCrunch request for further comment, but did not dispute the accuracy of the leaked information. Ah, that's nice. The market is ripe for new Twitter's alternative. Oh, some new trouble for Elon Musk. Uh, somebody. So it's a right upfront war uh, with Zook as well as Elon. Let's see what's happening. So what's your thought about this app? Are you going to be using one more social media? Do we really need this much of social media? Let me know, do let me know in the comment section. Do we really need this much of social media? Or we need to go back into the days of Yahoo chat rooms and Yahoo chats and all of that. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be reading them up for the next 24 hours, seeing that what you have to say in this. Let's catch up in another such video.